It's time that we go to the UT Chapel AME Church located in Seal, Alabama. Dr. O.C. Green of the UT Chapel of Seal, Alabama. He's waiting at the wings right now. Let me turn it over to the man of God who is going to encourage you to go to church, y'all. Dr. O.C. Green in his own way. Thank, thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend, Brother Woodley. Thank you so very kindly for such a beautiful and kind introduction that you do every Sunday. Matter of fact, every time we talk, you always got something kind to say to me and about me. Amen. And I want you to know I really, 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 really appreciate that. Amen. Uh, anytime somebody asks me how I'm doing, I always tell them I'm doing 100. Yeah. Dr. Woodley reminded me I ought to be doing 1,000 right. this morning. And I, I really, truly believe if the truth was told, I'm doing 1,000. I'm very, very happy this morning. As always, I'm always happy, but I'm especially happy this morning to have my, my kin folks here with me from, from Louisiana. They're at my house, right. and, and uh, the folks out at Uchi Chapel and Seal is showing their kindness. And, and, and I tell you, Dr. Whitley, they, they, went, they went far beyond the call of duty Amen. Uh, uh, to, show, to show me and my family some appreciation. I've never, I was just thinking last night, I've never had it done. On, on, on the scale that they're doing it and they want me to invite everybody to come and I, and the thing about it I had nothing to do with it that mm -hmm. I didn't schedule it it was not on the calendar and really uh, uh, looking in in the past it wasn't even expected mm -hmm. and, and but they went they went way out and, 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 and some people are gonna be there are gonna be a great blessing and I'm looking forward to seeing you now Amen. I'll tell you like I told brother Jackson and his wife if y'all don't come I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't, I don't want you to cry. No. You, no, you don't want to see that. No. No, that's not something you ought to want to see. You ought, to want to, you ought not want to see. I, I want to say this before I do my opening prayer. Uh, last night they had a, 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 a retirement celebration for our dear brother Jim Gifford mm -hmm. out, out at Lake Point. And man, they had a nice crowd out there. I know it was at least 200 people out there. Wow. Just to say, just to say, you know, kind words. Brother Gifford, I didn't say anything last night. I didn't say anything last night, but I, I think that you know that me and my family, that we, that we love you and your family. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all have not did anything but show us love and kindness, and, and, and we appreciate that. I, I, I didn't say anything last night. I, I was trying to do many things at one time. Mm -hmm. so, so, Brother Gifford, I, I'm, I'm saying it now to you on the air, and is on the radio and the TV. Uh, God bless you, man. God bless you in your retirement. God bless you in your retirement. And Jimmy Williams, we're looking forward to you now. Yours coming. We're looking forward to, <laughs> to that retirement. Amen? Amen. And, and if any of y'all, when, when you go to church today, if you see Sonny Skipper, ask him who won that game last night. Uh, LSU. <laughs> Look, normally when I call Sonny, man, we have a long, long conversation. I called him last night. That's the shortest conversation we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of people, a lot of people are sleeping in today. They well, that's right. That's right. They, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're right. But now, uh, 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 on a serious side, I really, I really need everybody that believes in prayer. I really believe, need everybody that believes in prayer that we, that we, that we do an extra prayer for J. Rowe. Mm -hmm. uh, up in uh, Mobile, that's a young man that I've been telling y'all about ever since he, ever since he had his accident. Mm -hmm. Please, please, y'all, let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. Let's thank God for the progress that Sister Hard is making, and the progress that Dr. Marshall is making. All three of these people are in Mobile, and they solicit our prayers. Please, let's do that. Let's, Father God, we come this morning first of all to give you thanks and give you joy for another day. We thank you for another opportunity to come and try to encourage somebody to change their life and do something different than what they normally do. And that's to go to church and take somebody with them. I ask that you would use me this morning that you might be glorified because it's all about you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, well, I think one of the greatest things that's happening right now is that next Saturday mm -hmm. is that when we, that's when there's call for prayer right out at uh, Narrowway. Mm -hmm. That's next Saturday morning, and uh, I'm sure Dr. Ware will tell us more about that when he come. But I'm looking forward to that, and that's what we need. Amen. We 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 need for him to call for it Saturday. 
somebody else to call for it Monday and we just everybody ought to be calling for prayer or uh, things things are uh, things are uh, are getting bad they're already bad they ain't getting bad they're already bad and I believe that the world is in the condition that it's in because those of us who who know God those of us who uh, uh, have a relationship with him those of us who are born again and Holy Spirit filled we, we are sitting down for whatever reason we we are sitting down and the scripture still says my children if they would humble themselves and call my name I will heal the land mm -hmm. and 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 God knows our land need healing dr. Woodley Amen. it, it need healing now more than ever and and I still believe that that the responsibility falls on us folks that don't know the Lord you can't you can't hold them responsible mm -hmm. so I, I believe the responsibility falls on those of us who know the Lord those of us who have who are in right relationship with him, those of us who are born again and Holy Spirit filled, God has commanded us. We we are the ones who gotta take over. We the one he the ones that that he expects to take our dominionship back. Yes. Uh, and I think that I think that the problem is that not enough of us are aware or not enough of us have the courage and the backbone uh, to do what it is that God requires for us to do. That's why so many of our churches are empty. Mm -hmm. uh, our churches are empty, not because folks don't like church. They just don't have the courage to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, to get up this morning after you stayed up all night last night, it takes it takes some courage. It takes some guts. Mm -hmm. You got to really want to. Right. You, you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, me and you come to this radio station early on Sunday morning, regardless of what we do on Saturday night. Right. Because, number one, we want to come. Mm -hmm. Number two, we enjoy being here. Amen. And number three, we got the courage and guts to get out of bed and, and, and come on and do it. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. And that's how it is with serving God. Dr. Wood, how is your mother-in-law doing? Oh, she's doing 100. Oh, I'm 100. glad. 100. Yeah, <laughs> She's up there with me. One hundred. I'm glad to hear that. I'm Amen. glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's another answered prayer because mm -hmm. it was a few weeks ago we prayed for her. She was mm -hmm. sick and in the hospital. That's right. And now we're praying for her. And I know your lovely wife is doing well. Oh, she's one hundred. Yeah, yeah, one hundred. Man, I got me a little club. I got the one hundred club. <laughs> yes, sir. But anyway, I, I, uh, 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 God, God is a prayer and answering God. God is a prayer yes, and answering is. God. God is not short on His word. Mm -hmm. It, uh, I, just, I just, I just, some of us who have made a commitment to God, and uh, uh, we are not doing, we are not keeping our commitment. Amen. We say that we would go, we say that we would do this and we would do that, and that we would tell people and, and even compel them to come. Mm -hmm. And somewhere down the line, Dr. Whitley, we we fell asleep on our job and we refused, we refused to get up. Amen. For whatever reason, what for whatever reason it is, we refuse to to get up. Uh, 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 I want to I want to remind the listeners and uh, that uh, next Sunday afternoon that Mount Level will be our guest at Uchi Chapel. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that new pastor, Pastor Butler, will be there preaching, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna we're looking forward to. I, I one one of the things that I say about Mount Level, uh, uh, they 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 have been supporting me ever since I've been in this town. Mm -hmm. Mount Level has, and Pastor Hunter, I got to give Pastor Hunter credit. Pastor Hunter was first African. He met me when I first got here. And, and there, there's others, but, but those those the ones that, that, that stand out. And then I'm looking forward to Mount Level coming over and Pastor Butler preaching to us, whatever the Lord put on put on his heart. I want to go, I want to go back now. I want to go back to what I originally was talking about, and that is those of us who know the Lord, those of us who know the Lord, mm -hmm. we need to we need to go from house to house mm -hmm. and tell folks about the Lord and let them know how important it is to go to church. Amen. The churches are empty because of us. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to blame it on the pastor. We try to blame it on other members. Uh, uh, but 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 the truth of the matter is, Dr. Woodley. The churches are empty because those of us who have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. we are not we are not recruiting, we are not doing anything, uh, we are not lifting him up. Right. It's very obvious that we are not lifting him up because he says in his word that if we lift him up, then he'll do the drawing. That's right. And and so if nobody is being drawn, that means that we are not lifting him up. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's very important that we remember to lift him up. It, it, it's not it's not it's not good enough. For, for, for those of us who go to church 
just to go to church and while we're in church we sing and we shout and we jump and then we leave church and go home mm -hmm. you, you, you thought that that's not that's not that's not the plan that, that that's not the plan that's not the plan after we get through after we get through praising after we get through shouting after we get through dancing then we got to go outside and evangelize Amen. but it's very very important that we get outside of the church it's very important that we get outside of the walls of the church and and we, we got we got to watch our conversation mm -hmm. we got to be careful dr woodley about our conversation because mm -hmm. some of the church going folks their conversation is what's hindering other folks from coming amen we got to be amen. very careful about what we say yes. uh, nobody gonna come there with you if you're running everybody down that's there mm -hmm. no no that that's not gonna work that 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 is not gonna work that's like somebody having that's like miss bob standing outside talking about how bad her restaurant is that's right and, and still appetizing for us to come mm -hmm. that's not gonna work mm -hmm. that is not going to work miss bob been on a cruise i wonder if she's back she's <laughs> on a cruise man you ever been on a cruise like that? No, I'm going. You going? I'm going. I can't handle that. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I'll go on a caravan. I'm going to let, let you fill in one Sunday for me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, man. I guarantee you, Nick. When you get back, they'll be glad to hear you. <laughs> yes, sir. But but that's what we got to do. We, we got to get outside mm -hmm. of the walls of the church. We got to get outside of the walls of the church. And we got to go out and we got to sell the church. We got to sell the church to the unchurched folks, mm -hmm. folks who are not going to church, folks who have no desire to go to church, folks who don't love the Lord. Mm -hmm. You see, we got we got to sell God. We got we got to go out and we got to sell God by how we live and how and what we say. We got to be able to sell God. Mm -hmm. We got to be able to sell. We got to be able to sell God, just like we sell everything else. Just like we try to convince folks to do everything else. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, I, you know, I. I'm the commentator, one of the commentators on the football game, the high school football games here in New Fowler. And and even 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 when we go away, I, I still, you know. And and I'm amazed at how the folks will come out, man. They they will come out. They will they will come out to these games. Uh, even even when we go out of town, folks are still there mm -hmm. supporting that. And, and 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 all I'm saying, all I'm saying to 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 those who are listening to us. Uh, either uh, on the radio or on the YouTube or watching us on TV here locally. All I'm saying, let's get as excited about serving God as we are about going to the high school football game. Mm -hmm. Let, let's get ex so excited about God that, 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 that we will take our tired bodies and go. Mm -hmm. It's not God's fault you're tired. It's not God's fault that you ain't got your proper rest. Right. You stayed up all night. That's not God's fault. And God still expect us to keep his word and, yeah. and uh, forsake not assembling ourselves together mm -hmm. in his name. That, and that's the key now. Mm -hmm. We got to assemble in his, in his name. In his name. We got to assemble in his name. And my brothers and sisters, I, I, I tell you that no excuse would work. You know, people say, well, I work six days. No, I don't care. You, you know, people that got jobs nowadays, mm -hmm. they ought to thank God. Amen. They, they ought to be the first ones in line to go to church. Mm -hmm. Young brothers, young sisters, please hear me. Please hear me. Whatever, what, whatever you are accomplishing, you couldn't do it without God. That's right. And you ought to, you ought to say thank you to Him. And and one way you say that now, now people say, well, I can do it at home. No, 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 no. You got to keep His word. He said, if you love me. That's what he said. He said, and Lord, you ought to love God. All of us ought to love God. But he made it simple. If you love me, keep my commandments. And one of the, and all I, I tell people all the time that every word of God is his commandment. Mm -hmm. Every word he speak is his commandment. So fake, for, uh, forsake not assembling yourself together. Mm -hmm. That's his commandment. That's, right. that's what he's telling us. That's I, I, I got I got I got some I got some I got some very talented folks in my family, cousins and all that, very talented folks mm -hmm. who have been very blessed. Uh, I think sometimes they forget where they come from mm -hmm. because they are being blessed but they're not giving God his. They're, they're not giving God his, especially, especially, you, 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 you know, I had a chance last night, I was sitting down uh, talking to my cousin who's here from, from Louisiana. And, and one, one of the things we agreed on, Dr. Woodley, we're glad that we are raised 
the way we were raised. Mm -hmm. Because we realize we had we, we are where we are now because how we was raised. Mm -hmm. I, I told I told them last night that I was grown before I realized a snitching card was the plug up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I, I, I seen somebody plug a snitching card up the iron. Mm -hmm. I said, that's what that's for? When they first got it out, man, I got the jumping. You know, and and well, that's one of the things that 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 is liking in the families mm -hmm. now. There are no more discipline in the family. That's right. And 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 the children, for whatever reason, we are allowing them to say anything and and do, do anything. anything. We just we we are, we are allowing that. Mm -hmm. we, we we are allowing that. We we are allowing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I I've seen times that 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 that. The whole neighborhood would correct you. Amen. You, you couldn't act a fool nowhere you went. Mm -hmm. The whole neighborhood would correct you, and they would do it with the blessings of the parents. Amen. You know, I, I, you know, you know, you, you, you saw on the news where these kids went in this football player house and mm -hmm. messed this house mm -hmm. up, and the parents got mad at him. Right. Now you mess my house up, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get mad at me when I try to correct your man. You, you understand? But, 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 but. I, I think that I think that for some reason we we, 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 we want to look the other way and we want to say well that's all right because that's so and so mm -hmm. no 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 we, we, we need to go back to raising these children we need, if you feed them if you feed them all right now you still got if you that what gives you a right to, to correct them mm -hmm. and get them and you feed them mm -hmm. You feed them. Our problem is we want to be their friend sure, more than their sure, parent. Sure, sure, that's right, that's right. And and I, I I was glad that I was able to balance that thing with my girls, man. I was able to be their friend and their daddy. I was daddy first. Mm -hmm. I, I I was daddy first. I was daddy first. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And when they once they had the love and respect for daddy, mm -hmm. then they found out that daddy was my friend. That's you know? right. That's but but right. gotta be daddy. That's right. And if you're gonna if I'm gonna choose between being your friend or being your daddy, I'm gonna be, be your, your daddy. daddy. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And because come uh, uh, friends, people who call themselves your friend, mm -hmm. but they never correct you. That's not your friend. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, people who call themselves your friend, but they allow you to do anything and everything you want to do. That's not your friend. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let, let let me say something to you. If if you got somebody you call your friend. And they'll not encourage you to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's not your friend. Mm -hmm. That is not your friend. Amen. Because friends point each other toward Jesus Christ. That's right. Friends are concerned about your soul salvation. Mm -hmm. A friend is concerned about where you're going to spend eternity. That's right. Amen. That's what a friend. A friend. Now, a true friend. Now, mm -hmm. you know, true friend. I think we. I think we. We. We use that word. Very, very lightly. I, I think that it has lost its meaning mm -hmm. because we just throw it. Hey, friend, we just throw it out. You understand what right. I'm saying? Right. And 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 so so this is what you ought to ask yourself. When was the last time me and my friend talked about Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When was the last time my friend asked me about my standing with God? You got to be concerned about each other's soul salvation. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 you know. Uh, uh, you ought to do a, 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 a monthly check. Every month you ought to call your friends and check and see where they are with God. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, not, not where you are in life, not where you are with me. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? But where you are, where you are with God. You know, we always talk about the number of funeral homes we have here, uh, Mr. Woodley and mm -hmm. the good funeral. You know why? Because folks are dying. That's right. Folks are dying. And folks are dying at a rate where it, it, one, if we didn't have but one, they couldn't handle it anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But every every town you go in, and we talked about this before, you two things you're going to find in every town, large, small, in between. Mm -hmm. Church and a funeral home. That's right. That's what you're going to find. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to find. And liquor store. And a, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 and what, 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 what happens what I tell for what happens in church prepares you for going to the funeral home. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Mm -hmm. See, if you go through the through the funeral home without going through the church, you're in trouble. That's right. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the Job declared that man is born of a woman is gonna die, mm -hmm. and that's true. Mm -hmm. 
So what we got to do is prepare ourselves to die. Amen. Prepare ourselves to die. We're going to die, Brother Woodley. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 none of us can stay here. You understand? The, the Bible declares, unless, unless Jesus come right now, mm -hmm. you understand, we'd be raptured up. But if not, we, if we keep tearing, we're going to die. Amen. And, and the question that all you must ask yourself was what happened when you die? And I always caution people about this, Dr. Whitley, because one of the tricks of the devil is the devil try to convince you as long as you're a good person, you're all right. Mm -hmm. And that's not what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. That's right. He said you got to be born again. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and I learned a long time ago, and I thank God for revealing this to me, Dr. Whitley, there's going to be a lot of good people in hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's going to be a lot of people in yes, hell, yes. and their resume is going to read how good they were. Mm -hmm. And and when it comes your time to die, if all anybody can say about you is that you was a good person, chances are you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus declared that we must be born again. Amen. And if you're born again, then you're living according to the way God wants you to live. And uh, I, you know, we 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 we, we, we concentrate too much on what we can't do. Right. That's what we do. We country on, well, nobody can't live like that. Well, God never would have told us to live like that if we couldn't do it. Amen. And that's where the Holy Spirit come in. That's why you got to be born again and have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Yes. That you might be able to do what it is. And I tell folks, it's so easy because once you get the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit does everything to please God because, because they are they're one. Mm -hmm. and, and you get credit for it. So, mm -hmm. so. So I don't understand why folks won't won't serve won't serve the Lord, but we got we got fine churches here in this town. Mm -hmm. We got some Everywhere. great churches here in this town. Yes. And and there's no reason not to go. And and I don't care what you've done last night. I don't care what you've done last night. And 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 this is his day. You need to thank him that you was able to do whatever it is you did last night. That's right. And and you ought to go now and you ought to be instructed. See, that's what that's what church does. In any Bible teaching, Bible preaching church is simply a house of instructions. Mm -hmm. It's a house of instructions. It instruct you how to get healed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, uh, we was talking about about this prosperity preaching. Most of your mega churches are full because folks are talking about prosperity mm -hmm. and I say I preach that message but I preach it in the form of Jesus mm -hmm. because when you get when you get when you get the right relationship with him everything everything to him. amen 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 that's 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 prosperity mm -hmm. preaching right there mm -hmm. you understand not that name it claim it stuff no 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 it's all about your relationship with God and I tell people the more you need the closer you are to get to him all right because he's the one that can meet all of our needs. Amen. You understand? You, you can't rely on man. Man will let you down. Mm -hmm. Sure will. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all his other Amen. stuff. That's right. That's exactly right. And and we need to know. I, 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 um, I, I want to say good morning to Miss Moselle Lavender. I want to say good morning to her this morning. I want to say, you, when you made that, when you said that, her sister, I used to pastor her sister, I used to pastor Miss Noah, and Miss Noah, that was her favorite scripture. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first. Amen. Yeah, yeah, and that made me think of Miss Lavender when you said that. Mm -hmm. So I want to say good morning to her and let her know she's in my, she's in my prayer. She's in, she's in my, she's in my prayer. Dr. Wood is getting close now, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited all over again. Amen. About this afternoon, and you know, anytime somebody. And I always tell people ain't got to be kind to you. That's right. People ain't got to be kind to you. And every time somebody show their love and pour out their love towards you, at it, to me, it's very touching because I got enough sense to know you ain't got to do it. That's right. Nobody has to be kind. And and, and you know, you know, I wanna. We we're gonna have some good food over there. Jerome is gonna be uh, catering it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerome Lewis uh, from Joe's is gonna be catering. So we got. He, you you cut up you cut up greens is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut up greens. Yeah. He been cutting up greens yesterday all day long. <laughs> you know, had it up near to call me. Man, I ain't cut them no, <laughs> no greens. No sir. So I know we're gonna have some greens out there eating. And you know, I want to thank Jerome, man. Jerome, uh, every 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 morning we get on a conference call with a bunch of brothers from around Dalton, Georgia, all around the area. 
Mm-hmm. And he organized them brothers, man, and they're going to come to you for about one o'clock and then they're all going out to, uh, to, uh, to the church. Mm-hmm. They're all coming out there this afternoon. I want to thank them. My brother-in-law came in from Florida. And uh, man, I, it's, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a glorious time. And Amen. I, I, I made a promise to myself that the woodland ain't gonna cry, you yeah. know. <laughs> but you know, that's a sight to see, man. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, but I, I but but uh, but anytime somebody show that love, and anytime mm-hmm. somebody pour out their love to a Jew, and that's you know, right. That's not right. not you know words words can't words can't say you know. Uh, uh, Sister Marshall here in town and. Sister Shirley, uh, you know, all, all, a lot of folks, man. And words just, words just can't, mm-hmm. words just can't express how I feel. And I want to say, I sure want to say thank you, man. I was sitting at the house yesterday. My wife walked in with a red velvet cake. Uh, uh, Sister Gilford sent over a red velvet cake, man. Right. And I said, Lord Jesus. All right. Yeah, man, I'm trying to lose a little bit more weight, but they ain't helping. Uh, just forget it. Today. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to forget it today. Yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> but anyway, my brothers and sisters, please, please remember those on our prayer list. And you may have somebody. You may have somebody. And, and when you see me, give it to me. Those of you, when you see me and you speak to me, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. And we all want to wherever we might be. And, I may not remember your name, but I look. I, I remember your face. And, and Dr. Green, I just want you to sure. know before we go, uh-huh. uh, today couldn't have happened to a better person. <laughs> oh man, you today better. Today couldn't have happened to a, a better person. Thank you, sir. Than you. And, Thank you. And this is your day. We all going to uh, Uchi Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna show you all the love that you need. Oh today. man, thank you so much. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you so much. Father God, we thank you for for this day. We thank you for the words of expressions. We just thank you for a beautiful day. Overcast, but it's beautiful. It is beautiful because you made it for us today. And God, I pray now that somebody would that would hear and they wasn't sure what they wanted to do today, but they decided they would go to church and hear your word. We got to hear your word. Life will never be changed unless we hear. We hear your word. I think that I ask that you would bless Dr. Ware and his ministry, and that we all would rally when it come when it come time to go out and pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. You have been listening to the Sunday morning broadcast of Pastor L. C. Green. This broadcast is heard every Sunday at 10:30 a.m. on TV 99. Then again on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. And on Mondays it is available on YouTube for the next 30 days. Pastor Green reminds you to go to church at the church of your choice this Sunday.